greatest names in bluegrass have discovered Raleigh. They come to play here every year, and along with them come nearly a quarter million fans to downtown over the long weekend that is known as Wide Open Bluegrass. This music brings people together, and it brings people together to both play it and, and to listen to it and to share and, and to connect on a huge stage or at a club or whatever. There's something very egalitarian and participatory about this music that um, I think is important. Tim Forster is a songwriter, vocalist, and guitar star in the band Hot Rise. This is them rehearsing for the International Bluegrass Music Association Awards Show at Raleigh's Memorial Auditorium. They've hosted the show, and they've won Entertainer of the Year awards over their long history. They think North Carolina is a fitting place for this all to come together. For me, the fact that Earl Scruggs is from North Carolina meant that was the place. Hundreds of thousands of visitors to Raleigh for wide open bluegrass seem to agree. All over the world, literally, the I in IBMA stands for international. There's the headliner events draw big crowds, but so does the street festival that is free and open to the public. This is where bluegrass gets local. The Kruger brothers live in Wilkes County, but they came to North Carolina from their birth home in Switzerland. They came for the music, and on this night in Raleigh, they played it. North Carolina is so open to all sorts of different influences that bluegrass music is not the hillbilly music that it used to be. It is, a, it is played from anywhere between Russia all the way down to Africa, into Asia, and uh, Raleigh has that air of openness to it. Indeed, there's nothing presumptuous about who's playing, nor who they're playing with. So, okay, so let me just say that bluegrass, you can jam with anybody. You can be a perfect stranger amongst us. If you start picking and singing with someone, you can get along with them just fine. North Carolina is the center of, especially a certain, a certain type of bluegrass music. The, the North Carolina rhythm of, of Piedmont, North Carolina bluegrass is really boom chick. Um, That's boom chick. And it's not about a light show. It's not about smokes and explosions and things like that. It's about I am doing something that's honest to me for you and trying to create this honest honest experience. That's when it's at its best, that's what's happening and it doesn't matter if there's 10 people in there or 10,000 people there. That honesty and the humble roots of this music have been on display for more than 70 years at Little Sandy Ridge, North Carolina. Back in 1948, the first Sandy Ridge Bluegrass show kicked off in the school auditorium with Opry superstars Flat and Scruggs. And the show still brings great entertainment today. Well, I just recognize the important history from uh, this type of music that was, uh, that took place here over the years, all the way back to 1948, because, I mean, literally all the important people in this music played here. This is one of the reasons why we moved to North Carolina in the first place from Switzerland. Because it, it, you can really be yourself here. You know, the state motto is to be rather than to seem, and that fits for bluegrass music incredibly well. The International Bluegrass Music Association World of Bluegrass event will once again be held in Raleigh September 22nd through the 24th. For tickets and more information, go to worldofbluegrass.org. The annual Sandy Ridge School Bluegrass Show is Saturday, March 19th in Sandy Ridge. And for tickets and more information, go to richintraditionbluegrass.com.